Hey you guys, Naturally Marked here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be blow drying my hair with the Silver Bird Kind Air Blow Dryer. Yay! And then I got my old school. Y'all see my old school? It was real fast, but my old school. But my sister-in-law Tara gave me this uh, blow dryer and I wanted to test it out. And I have not blow dried my hair in over a year. So I figured, hey, let's try to blow dry my hair. My edges has grown back and I wanted to give it a shot. But the last time I blow dried my hair, you guys, I didn't have a kid. Now I have a eight month old baby. He was eight months in this video. But yes, now he's crawling around on the bed and I didn't want to take out any of the clips. See, look, you see my edges, they've grown back. Yeah, so I didn't want to cut anything out. I just really wanted to be really real and transparent with this video. So you guys are going to see me take my thumbnails. You guys are going to see me continuously make sure he's not falling off the bed, picking him up, making sure he's not falling off the bed. And yeah, I like I said, I just want to be really transparent. So if you guys want to know what I put in my hair, I already made a very detailed blow drying video. So I will just leave that video down in the description box for you guys to check out with the link if you want to check out the products that I use on my hair. So really quick with this blow dryer, I did put it on medium heat, which was like the one. And then I put it on high speed for the blow dryer. So just a second ago, you guys seen me kind of comb through my hair with the blow dryer comb just to see if my hair could comb through with this little flimsy comb. And here is a lint check for you guys. Um, I'm pretty much two inches away from the top of my pants when I pull my hair in the back. But back to the blow dryer. I wanted to make sure that I could kind of detangle my hair with the blow dryer, but the teeth on the comb I just didn't really care for the teeth on the comb so I had my backup my oldie but goodie my old school kind air blow dryer with the brush on there I don't know the brush just kind of makes it a lot easier to get through my hair and it also gets the roots really straight and it gets the ends of my hair really straight I'm talking about the brush kind air so the silver bird kind air I didn't realize that the silver bird actually makes it look like your hair was kind of flat earned in some way until I talked to my sister-in-law she was like I really like the blow dryer because it makes it look like you kind of flat earned your hair but didn't flat earn your hair and it is true see you guys there's jelly bean but it is really true that it does make your hair look like you kind of lightly flat earned your hair without flat earning your hair and my hair stays straight for a month I blow dry my hair and I did not do anything to my hair for an entire month like it didn't revert it stays straight but the pros is I like that you can deal with the heat temperature like you guys this blow dryer gets really hot the con air the silver bird con air it gets really really hot and it do get your hair pretty straight but what I didn't like about it is the comb I wish if it had like a bristle attachment at the front of it instead of a comb I think I will be all in with this blow dryer but I have to keep switching back to the old school con air with the brush on there because it the silver bird wasn't getting my hair straight enough on the ends and it wasn't getting my roots straight because I couldn't like rub my roots with the comb. That's my only con, but the pros way outweighs the cons. And I think you guys just seen me show you guys my sweaty pits. I'm not sure. Y'all, my pits started sweating so much in this dang video. This was a workout. This was not a joke. Like, I'm not playing. It was absolutely not a joke. So, with, um... The comb, I like I said, with the silver bird con air, I just really wish that I had a brush instead of the comb. But I think I am going to most definitely try to use this blow dryer again without going back and forth between my old school con air versus my new school. Like, I really didn't want it to be a versus, but that's kind of what it was. 
you guys i really do want to try the revlon like the 400 dollar blow dryer but i am not like mm -mm. i think i might could try to see if i can get it from conair i mean from revlon but yeah mm -mm, i don't think so i think i would just keep switching back and forth between these two blow dryers but i really do like this blow dryer i think i just need my paddle brush and i'm laughing you guys because i still have not went and bought another paddle brush since my other paddle brush broke and i think if i had a paddle brush with the silver bird blow dryer i think i probably would have liked it a lot better and also i'm gonna have to try to blow dry my hair again without jelly bean being back there just doing the most is to the hostess okay and um yeah so you guys this is just a real process like it took me an hour to do my hair i had to stop after i blow dried all of my hair because jelly bean was getting very sleepy and cranky and then i had to come back to finish blow drying my hair so you guys I am just going to let you watch a couple of moments of this video. It do get a little repetitive until the end. So, yeah, you guys, I'm going to just blow dry my hair with my old school kind of hair blow dryer to try to detangle it a little bit, get the, the braid pattern out of it, and then I'm going to follow up with the Silverbird kind of hair blow dryer. Y'all, this blow dryer is really affordable. If I can find it on Amazon, I will link it down below. Both of the blow dryers, actually. I will link them down below as well. But one thing I also noticed about the Silverbird, it didn't leave my hair dry or stripped feeling like. Sometimes when you use some blow dryers, it makes your hair feel really dry and brittle. But my hair did not feel dry and brittle at all. So, yeah, I'm going to just stop talking to you guys and you can watch the rest of the video and then I'll pop back in in a second. Okay, you guys, so I'm back. The reason why I put my head rag on was because Jelly Bean needed to take a nap, and this is probably an hour later, and you guys just see me take a couple of thumbnails, but this is what my hair looks like. I kind of twisted my hair and just put it in a low bantu knot. So I'm going to comb out my hair, get the waves out of it, because I need to take a couple of more thumbnail pictures, and then I need to make sure that my ends were straight enough because I did trail my hair off of 
camera, if you guys watched Vlogmas, you will see me actually kind of trim my ends when I French braid my hair in my Vlogmas video. Um, if I can remember which one I trimmed my ends, it was really fast, but I will link that video down below for you guys. But this is just me trying to make sure that my hair is kind of straight and I didn't want it to be crinkly. And I'm just going to do take down the other side of my hair and make sure that it's not crinkly and I got my hair blow dried good enough in my roots. But you guys, I really just wanted to be transparent with this video. I mean, you guys have seen me blow dry my hair with no um, like interruptions or without a kid. But before I had a kid, people were asking me, how did you deal with postpartum shedding? Do you have any advice for postpartum shedding? And you guys, I have all of those answers now because I do have a kid. And now that I do have a kid, I can give you guys answers about my mini braids or my mini twists when I decide to put those back in my hair, how difficult or if it was difficult to mini braid my hair or mini twist my hair with having a baby. But honestly, I think I would just be mini twisting or mini braiding my hair at night when he sleep for about three hours and it will take me my usual 12 days to mini braid my hair. But with postpartum shedding, you guys, I've already put a couple of videos up showing how to extremely grow your hair and everything like that. And you guys see that my edges have grown back. So just watch those videos for extreme hair growth. That's what I've been doing to grow back my edges and just babying my edges and also doing very low manipulative styles uh, with my hair. So that's what I've been doing. My hair has grown a lot and I'm so surprised how much it's grown because when I was pregnant, my hair did not grow. It, I don't feel like it grew at all. I feel like since I've taken my mini braids out and this is just me taking thumbnails, but since I've taken my mini braids out when my son was five months old, I had my mini braids in for five months and since I started doing all of these herbal type of hair DIYs my hair has really flourished and especially my edges so yeah you guys this is how I'm just gonna preserve my hair with this little bun and I really hope you guys enjoy this video enjoy the transparency um, it's a struggle and I didn't want it to make it make it look like it was easy I was about done so yeah you guys I really hope you enjoy this video and thank you guys so much for watching bye